So, what's wrong with the Chiefs? Um, it's like I told y'all, I've said before, Spags' defense only works for a limited time. And his time's up. He needs to go. So, basically, what you're saying is Spags' defense is like Toyota Thon. It's for a limited time only. Yeah, I mean, you've seen it with the Giants. You see where he goes. It's only like works for so long. So he needs to go. It's time for a new system. And we need to focus on defense. We need to – We offense is fine. The lines go get it together. We got enough linemen. Just give them time to jail. We need to focus on the defense. We need – every team needs a dog. We don't have that – Frank Clark, I thought, was that dog, but he can't stay healthy. We don't have a dog on defense. Everybody needs that that Brian Dawkins, that Ray Lewis, that uh that Deion Sanders, that that one is gonna come to you in your face and get you hype. Tyran's that, but at the same time, he's not that. And Sorensen, Dirty Dan's my guy, but it may be time for him to go to the bench and let a younger player start. Well, I'm it's surprised just, that you say that Honey Badger is, but he isn't. But I'm more surprised that you, about you and your, your boy Dan Sorensen. Because to me, Sorensen has been more or less opportunistic. He happened to be in the right place at the right time to make some plays. I don't see him going out to specifically make plays. And that's the, the difference. He's made plays. The thing with Dan is he spends too much time looking in the, you know, to make it like a run stop or something. Versus worrying about coverage. That's why he got burnt twice, because he's too busy watching instead of seeing what's going on. Then you look up and just, you ain't going to catch, you ain't fast enough. Done deal. And that's why I say he's not a dog, because he reads instead of reacts. You got to react if you're a dog. You got to know where you're going and get there. And that's it. I agree. And... I am not going to just put it on the Chiefs defense, although that defense is pretty sorry. Offense needs some help, too. And it ain't the, just the line. It is the, not offense, the offense is fine. They've shown what they can do. Everybody talking about Mahomes' his interceptions. He's a slinger. You just didn't realize it because we have beaten teams' asses. He came from a spread offense in college. That mentality doesn't change in the NFL unless you chase Daniels. You just career back up. You say he made the Chargers team? That was mind-blowing. And he was like the third quarterback, and I think he's number two. Yeah. But that's here nor there. The offense is fine. When your defense is fucking up, you're going to be pressed. So, therefore, you're going to have these turnovers. You're going to do everything you're doing because you don't think the defense is going to do anything. So you feel like you have to play defense with your offense. And everybody's talking about, oh, Tampa done figured them out, Tampa done figured them out. If Tampa figured us out, we only scored nine on Tampa. We're averaging about 30 a game. So Tampa, if Tampa figured it out, then you motherfuckers ain't doing it right. Because if you were, we'd only average nine, six, seven points. We still put up legit points. This Buffalo game was the only game we didn't put up legit points. That's only because of the damn rain delay. If the rain delay didn't happen, we'd have put up points. But at the same time, like in that Buffalo game, Tyree come across the middle. Boom, what do you do? Intercept into the house. Is that Mahomes' fault? No. The the um what is the um charger game? Uh the receiver, wide open, Mahomes throws you a pass. Catch it, you into the end zone, you down at the one. You bumble it, gets the interception. Is that Mahomes' fault? No. You gotta catch what's coming to you. You can't say I'm a number one or I'm a number two, you don't catch it. Y'all mad because Travis getting the ball? He catch the motherfucker. Catch the ball. So it's just like something I think, because it can't really happen so hard, it's one of the things where you got to get out your own way. Stop being so lackadaisical. Get hungry again. Niggas ain't hungry. They ain't got paid. They ain't hungry no more. That's the worst thing with an, alpha, with an athlete. A lot of them, when they get paid, they don't have that hunger anymore because it's been too easy for them. And that's Not how only like, that. Not only that, they got paid and they already got a ring. Exactly. Done paid, they got a ring in the record book, going to the AFC Championship three times in a row. 
Amen Dunn since Buffalo. And been favored to win the Super Bowl the past four years, basically. Saw yesterday, yesterday is the first time somebody outside of Kansas City been favored to win the Super Bowl, and they put it on Tampa because Tom Brady had that big game. Yeah, um, this doesn't just hurt Kansas City for this year. I think it hurts them for next year, too, because you clearly need a couple more new receivers. And once you get them, they will need to learn the system in jail. I you know, we're, we have receivers like Pringle. He's under contract. Robinson, we're probably going to let go. Hardman, we may bring back. We got the receiver. That's not even the issue. That's You can give receivers curl routes or slants and make it successful. They just got to run the route. It's I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but if you keep Hardman, you keep him on kick returns, you want to put him on offense, you can run that reverse out of the backfield. That's it. Don't throw him any more passes. He's not going to be not bad. He just – when he actually catches and turns up field, he's not bad. But he's too busy on that backyard street football. I got to catch it and turn around and look at you. Uh, uh, uh. And then take off. That No, just catch the ball, turn up field. That's all you got to do. Now, this is where – but see, this is the Andy effect also. A lot of players get comfortable. They Andy, they know dude is that in the third. This is where you kind of you need that that when I coached soccer, it was three of us. It was me, Tim, and Ryan. Tim was the clipboard, had the plays. Ryan was the pushover. I was the dog. You have to have that. And I think that's what we 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 need a, a coach like that is gonna get off in their ass. We just ain't had it. You know, because like yeah. Randy, he only, I mean, Andy's only going to do so much. But, you know, it's cool. It is what it is. It's, it's going to get figured out sooner versus later because uh, we got we got a lot of money that we can uh, let go of to get to and fro. Yeah. So just no. need this time. It's hard to sustain that type of success in the NFL, Dan. I mean, a team can be terrible one year and great the next year. It happens all the time. I mean, the boys done had a three-year run. They're, they're due for a down season. Here's the funny thing. The Chiefs could lose four more games, right, and and still be, what, 10 and 7? Yeah. Yeah. And get a wild I mean, that, card. Not, well, I mean, maybe not a wild card, but, I mean, it'll still end up being a winning season. I mean, if we take a dip back and, and, and don't make the playoffs at all because of the defense, it's not like it's going to be a trend uh, for many, many years of not making the playoffs. Because as long as you got Patrick Mahomes, the same way with Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers, they know worst-case scenario with him – you're going to have a winning season, and he's probably going to get you in the playoffs. So if they do, if this is if this is that year where it's down, then it's just that down year. They'll, they're still going to end up with a winning record, though. Yeah, I, I, It's hard to put Super Bowl aspirations on a team from the very jump. I mean, we always do that, and I believe they still have Super Bowl aspirations, but – What's wrong with them right now, man, is, first of all, they turn the ball over much, and the defense ain't playing inspired at all. So maybe maybe when this team feels like their back is against the wall, they'll beat the teams that they're supposed to. Like, they play Washington this week. They should throttle Washington. Yeah, you know? but if you score 30 points, but you give up 35, you still yeah, take I mean, the hell. Deal. Yeah, I mean the defense can't stop nobody. I mean they're just they're not they're not playing inspired. At, they're not playing inspired at all because I don't think the coach is giving them anything to be inspired about. They're not doing any any all out blitzes. They're not trying to put pressure on these quarterbacks. I mean you're not you're not gonna get pressure with just now, the front four in this league. You gotta have some special motherfuckers up front to do that, and everybody ain't got Aaron Donald. Well, you say that they're not playing inspired football, and I know before you came on, Kevin made a good point. You already got the contract. You already got the ring. Um, at some point, is it really the coaching, or do you need to just man up and say, I've been doing this. I need to do it again. 
I think it's just human nature. They just, they, they're they just too relaxed to repeat and get back. It's like they're, they're tired. They know the grind it takes. They've done it for the last three years and went to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. I mean, it's the reason that the Patriots didn't win every, you know, back-to-back -back all the time. It, all, it would always be a year or two in between. So I think it's literally just the players are tired. I think they're tired. I think they've Super played Bowl so hangover? much. Yes, absolutely. Last two, for the last two Super Bowl hangovers. You know I mean, what? Tony makes a good point. I think it's just tired, me of, um, When LeBron was in Miami, and I think when um, they finally when his snow and LeBron's streak finally ended, are going to championships. He did an interview. And he was like, "I hate that I lost, but this is my first time being home, and I'm not in, in the playoffs." And I'm not in the Olympics, and I'm just actually resting for a chance. So it, it, that's good. You think about it: two Super Bowls and three AFC championships. That's Should have been three Super Bowls. There. Well, and think about this. Okay, so Tampa Bay—they're hot right now. They're going to have a run of about two or three years in the NFC, where they're going to be the NFC representative. You know, with Tom Brady and that group that they got. And they're going to eventually falter for a season or get tired. You know, they just went to one last year. They didn't even get close with Jameis. Damn, look at Seattle. Think about it. The Seahawks, them, when they got Russell. It, yeah, um, Russell's good, but Russell ain't Patrick Mahomes. I'm saying, well, they went on a run for a minute, like you're saying. And then that was that defense. They had that good defense. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I think just the players – I think they're tired. I think they're playing uninspired. Uh, I think uh, Spagnola has he hasn't done anything creative. He's not giving them guys anything new. I mean, you keep trotting goddamn Sorensen and Neiman out there uh, week after week, and, and and them motherfuckers can't tackle shit. They can't tackle me. I, I'm pretty sure I can break Neiman's tackle. I'm pretty sure. I might be able to break that motherfucker's tackle with no pads. <laughs>